Okay, uh, starting from the index of my presentation, I will um, first uh, show some background information, let's say the basis of my survey, what I think the data sharing was, I think, uh, uh, should be implied in data sharing, and then I will present the survey we did on uh, CNI research uh, in the field of uh, environmental sciences. Uh, uh, on this survey, I will present objectives and methods, uh, the research context, uh, data about result about data management and sharing practice, and of course, what uh, the uh, uh, research uh, uh, opinions are about data sharing, barriers, and neighbors of data sharing, and then I will try to make some conclusions. It's not so easy to do it. Okay. So the idea behind that, the data sharing, uh, I'm quoting here some people, uh, I, I agree with their idea, um, the uh, propensity to data sharing depends on research context, and, but research context is also a combination of uh, technological infrastructure, institutional support and personal interaction. So I would say uh, um, also related to your uh, um, to, to you, to the previous uh, uh, presentation that we should take into account also these other elements. Uh, data sharing begins with good uh, data practices carried out in all phases of the life cycle, and that uh, uh, I think we are uh, we may agree that uh, we should start uh, thinking about data sharing before we start the analysis, and that's uh, something that, that should be changed in the process of, of doing it. Um, so research uh, takes many forms. Okay, we have a variety of data within the same area that could, could uh, uh, limit research sharing, collection, uh, uh, data collected uh, for many purposes, using many approach, and often uh, difficult to interpret once removed from their initial uh, context. So this means uh, the necessity of associating different metadata, not only the data, and so um, making the data uh, sharing a more complex ta task or uh, annotating uh, information that uh, you know uh, takes a lot of time and, uh, and uh, effort. Um, at the end, that's uh, a question I am posing because my title was on the technology, so I. Um, um, uh, what I think is that uh, technologies have developed a lot but the way we acquire data. Uh, but I don't think personally that uh, we have enough technology to uh, develop to store data and in particular to retrieve data. Uh, when we, we, were, we go into these very nice databases uh, uh, and then we have just the maps and then we have to search for data, then we are a little bit uh, uh, disoriented and we don't know what's, what type of data. And, and when we look at the results, uh, Excel spreadsheet, then uh, we really think, how may I use this data effectively? Because I have to load it. And I have to do uh, lots of uh, steps, and lots of uh, work to uh, compare data that have been uh, uh, collected by others. So, I mean, um, maybe uh, this is also uh, something that we should uh, think about. Um, some obvious maybe uh, uh, thinking about environmental sciences. Environmental sciences uh, has both large scale and small scale projects, short term and long term. So this also has an influence on how data are shared, how data are collected and so on. Uh, we have observation, experiment, and data model, also different ways of collecting and using data. Data models, for instance, uh, they use data already released and then uh, make data to projection. And of course, in this discipline, we have diverse uh, areas, uh, diverse sub-community sub and sub-disciplines, interaction with other disciplines, economy, economy,
on economics and so on. And uh, as I said before, a lot of data varying in form and plenty. Uh, data dispersion, we find many data by different researcher and in different databases that uh, are, we, we heard yesterday about interoperability and this is also a very big challenge and also data provenance, so the history of, of uh, data collection is always uh, not uh, uh, easily uh, to identify. Sorry. So uh, back to our research, so based on these uh, premises, uh, our research uh, uh, wants to capture perception, identify barrier and possible enable to support open data sharing and we uh, would like to contribute to the development of information sources thinking on uh, the research who are doing research. So um, for, this, uh, for this aim we uh, try to analyze the practices and the research contents and of course the researcher attitudes uh, towards data sharing. Uh, the survey, as I said before, uh, was done uh, at the CNR Institute belonging to the Department of Earth and Environment. Uh, we could have chosen, uh, chosen uh, between different departments. CNR is uh, uh, a, a multidisciplinary research institution, but we choose this one because uh, uh, this field has proved to be data intensive, multidisciplinary, and there are also a lot of initiatives uh, uh, currently at uh, the internal level that are doing, uh, um, are trying to develop infrastructure to data sharing. So maybe uh, this could be um, useful also for them. So methods, uh, we first analyzed other international surveys and we also integrated some questions that are in other international surveys in our questionnaire so to make uh, a comparison not quite easy to do it, but I mean, we, we wanted to set the trend. Um, as I said, we identified the survey target group in the uh, researchers uh, in, the science, uh, in the environmental sciences uh, and developed the questionnaire. The questionnaire was submitted uh, by a, uh, an online questionnaire, by email, anonymous and so on, and uh, it was done last year from June to September. Just a quick look of the 14 questions. I'm not going to give all the results, uh, some of them. Um, the questionnaire we have, uh, as I said, uh, we gave import importance to the research context, so we asked for topics, uh, data type, research method, funds, and type of collaboration they are carrying out, data acquisition, how they measure data, and which, uh, how the instrumentation is managed, uh, data managed uh, use of standards and metadata through procedure and if there are people who are devoted to uh, managed data. Uh, and then of course data reuse and availability. If they use data produced by others, uh, which are the data, data sharing practices, uh, if there are databases where data can be stored, uh, how they would like to be cited and if they have incentive to uh, publish uh, to publish data um, by uh, the publisher or, or the sponsor. And then, of course, the opinions about uh, uh, data sharing. So the sample, uh, we uh, sent 1,087 questionnaire and uh, we received 52 responses. So response rate is 48%, which is quite high given the voluntary basis of, of the questionnaire, we uh, uh, recalled and asked them many times, but uh, we, we had some success. As you, say, as you see here, these are the thir uh, 13, uh, yes, uh, 13 institutes belonging to this uh, department, uh, and the uh, rate of responses is also different by institute. So water research institute, for instance, uh, uh, we had a rate of for almost uh, uh, 58%. Uh, so profile, uh, the questionnaire was sent to all the researchers with uh, temporary and uh, no temporary contract. 
but also two researchers that uh, uh, are external collaboration. Us usually, we associate people uh, that come from the university too, so they were also uh, in, the, in the analysis, but their res response rate is, is not so high. So, uh, gender, our, we have more male than uh, uh, female in our sample. Uh, age group is quite high. Uh, uh, the CNR research community is getting very old. Uh, budget cuts uh, are uh, the main problem, and so we are getting uh, we are getting old. We are a old research community, with if you see uh, 11. So the, the main uh, uh, length of service is between 11 to 20 and 11 to 20. And uh, the responses uh, we get, we got. Uh, the majority of responses we, get, we got from permanent job uh, um, The research concepts, we are, here we ask uh, people uh, what topics they are involved with, uh, involved with in, in and, uh, and also the uh, time devoted to each topic. So here uh, there is uh, an aggregation of, of these uh, 13 uh, research lines. Uh, in just to have an overview of the topics that, that are covered by, um, in, uh, by research institutes. Uh, generally, researchers participate in two, three research lines, and specialization is within the institute. Some institutes are very specialized in certain topics, but there are also some topics that are across uh, institutes, for instance, environmental monitoring and pollution research. Um, other information about the research context, uh, research activity are mainly carried out in medium-sized groups. And uh, when we asked if they do work in multidisciplinary group, uh, this is done uh, generally in international projects, but also with colleagues in the same institute. And this is uh, a tradition of CNR uh, in, uh, that, that generally uh, have institutes with uh, people from different backgrounds that work together and so different from, from the university sometimes. Um, funds, that's uh, something uh, interesting. Um, but the majority of funds are coming from abroad, so from national public uh, projects or, or from EU projects. So people have to uh, um, submit proposals to get money. Um, the, the funds that are internally, the projects that are internally funds uh, prevalently, if, if we look at the frequency of funds, that we see that this number decreases to 1.9. So uh, projects that are prevalently funded by, you know, directly by CNR are just 1.97, which is quite low. Okay, data acquisition. Uh, here, uh, yeah, an overview of data, uh, we have to say there are more data that are generally used. Uh, generally, there is a combination of data. Here, it's a simplified view of what their research use. But just to have an idea, we asked uh, about biological, chemical, physical data in, uh, different, in the different domain. As you can see, chemical and physical data are uh, used um, respectively in internal waters and atmosphere, or, or in geological data in uh, the study of uh, uh, land. Uh, the, uh, the other, if you see at the sea, for instance, the sea study that there, there is a more homogeneous distribution of different type of data used for uh, this purpose. Um, we also asked about theoretical and experimental research. Uh, also here we asked the percentage of time dedicated to uh, theoretical and experimental research. Um, two groups, uh, mm, the majority of the research is experimental, uh, but if you, if you look at the theoretical one, uh, there are 62% uh, of researchers that do some theoretical research too. And um, so this could mean that applied and based basic research are not so divided and so different uh, uh, fields uh, of, of studies. Um, and interesting to note that the, the contrary, if you look at the contrary, the, this is not true for people who do 
experiment, theoretical research uh, for most of the time, they do uh, uh, less uh, experimental research. Data acquisition me measurements are taken directly by a researcher. Data are acquired both uh, in laboratory and in the field. And the instrumentation is directly managed by CNR. CNR has developed its own instrument to collect data and the majority of uh, its research are using it. So now data management, use of standards. When we look at the use of standards, uh, we see that uh, only 36% uh, use standards. That's, uh, that's not so nice. Uh, but then we asked, uh, do you associate any, any other type of information to your data? And that's m much more encouraging because we see that 34% uh, 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 associate data about the date, location, code, type, instrument setting. Uh, other 5% authors, file, format, software, acquisition code, and 32% uh, associate both these two types of, of information. That's uh, a prerequisite for data reuse, storage, and preservation. So uh, that's, I think that's encouraging uh, in contrast with the uh, use of standards that um, there are so many standards sometimes for the same subject that we have also to take to, into account that this is done sometimes after the research is done. Okay, um, important procedure adopted in the Institute for Long-Term Preservation. Uh, these are in place in almost 30% of, uh, uh, of the research that we said that, and they say also that this percentage, that, that, that this procedure are foreseen in the future. That also could be a little bit encouraging. Um, no specifically, there are no uh, person in charge for data sharing or data management. And that's uh, a, a real problem, I think. Because, I mean, uh, uh, if we collect large amount of data and we don't, do not have uh, personnel devoted to this task, uh, data are going to be lost uh, uh, very easily. Okay, data use. We also asked if the researcher are using data produced by others. And this is true for 59% uh, uh, of our sample, and this is done mainly in the same multidisciplinary uh, field, in the same field. Uh, then we ask also if there are archives where they can put data, and we, you can see uh, uh, 50, 40%, uh, more than 40% have databases uh, done, developed within the institutes, and 31% in, uh, have international or international databases or network. If you look at the, at the, at the other table uh, down in the slide, so we have 23% that have more than one possibility to share data but also 34% that are firm that they do not have any database where they can put their data. So data sharing, that's, that's the problem now. Uh, when we asked, uh, do you share data and uh, in which condition uh, and so on, we see that uh, the, the researcher tend to select the data they are going to, uh, to share. And this is done especially some data are on the website, some data are in international and uh, national uh, networks uh, in, a, in a bigger proportion, as you see, then uh, uh, the majority of data are, of course, within my research group, and, uh, uh, and then, of course, they all affirm that uh, when the data are open, that they are uh, willing to provide it. That's, uh, that we, should, we should try now to make an analysis and see if this is true. Okay. Um, now, uh, the same, uh, if we associate this data with the topics and the availability of data, we see that uh, the percentage of, the, of some data shared increases and also, I think, this tendency is more evident when we see that there are 
uh, international and national databases. Um, also, the, the percentage of the majority of data shared increases not so highly, but increases a bit uh, when there are uh, national and international networks where I can put my data. Uh, the, the same tendency is evident here. Uh, we also crossed, we associated uh, uh, the, the data, uh, data pro the, the use of data produced by others and uh, internal archives. And you see uh, the percentage of no data sharing decreases and the percentage of some data who are shared uh, um, increases. And the tendency is also here. Uh, uh, more evident uh, when I have national or international databases. Uh, now, on the set of questions that about opinion and uh, barrier and so on, um, here, uh, at the, these questions were taken from an international uh, uh, survey, Parson site, maybe many of you know about it. Seven of, of, of these questions, of two were. Uh, we included other new questions also. Uh, you can see that there is a certain agreement of, on the availability of data for the progress of science. So, I mean, the good, uh, uh, the good scientists that we have seen before, uh, the availability and enhances the substance of research results, uh, importance, when it is publicly funded should be, should be available to everyone. And then let's see the at least important uh, uh, information. Research data are unique, it's not so important. So it's, uh, it's quite strange. Uh, and it has a potential economic value. Uh, it seems strange, but this was also the result in this uh, other international cycle. Uh, here uh, we can see that the research data are unique is counterbalanced by uh, the researchers think it is important. And we will see that this uh, uh, variable has an important uh, uh, um, role uh, when we do a cluster analysis. Okay. Uh, opinion, which are the obstacles? Uh, we have seen uh, before there was a certain agreement of the most important uh, factors. Here, uh, obstacles are more homogeneously distributed among the researchers. Um, sometimes the important value prevails uh, to the very important value. But if you look at, at some agreement, there is no technical support, uh, lack of standards, and that's uh, also uh, a, a bit contradictory. Data are not evaluated likely by incomplete uh, results, and this is the main problem we, you know, we, we heard about it. Uh, less, uh, at least important uh, information or uh, procedure of data sharing are too complicated. And I'm really very not, not so clear about this uh, answer. Okay, condition that the, you should require to submit your data. We have here uh, more agreement uh, uh, on the people who have uh, responded. Uh, I would like to be able to update data after submission. I would like uh, to know who is using data, where, and for which purpose, uh, to be contacted. So the real fear that, uh, of losing control of the data I have submitted, and, uh, and, and, and the fear that, that I uh, wish to have control also after submission. That's, uh, something that maybe should be taken into account when we uh, build infrastructure for data sharing. Uh, of course, simple procedures is a policy that seems to contradict the, the, the last question, and once again, receive the same evaluation uh, received for publications. Okay, uh, now we did a, a, a factorial analysis trying to put together the three questions three last questions and there are supplementary variables. I'm um, trying to uh, explain how we did uh, uh, going step by step. So here we uh, started with the obstacles, the perceived obstacles. And you can see on the, on the left side uh, there are people who consider this ob obstacle not important and on the, on the uh, right side 
uh, people uh, consider very important. The variables that, that came are, out from this analysis are not to await live uh, publication, lots of exclusivity, data misinterpreted and uh, misused, uh, lots of data control. If we add uh, uh, data about what people, what researchers think about the role of, uh, of data, uh, we also have uh, two, two uh, opposite positions between uh, data are unique, it's not important, validation, validation of research data is not important, management of trustality is not important, and on the other side, uh, the combination of uh, thinking it is an obstacle, but data are very important. Uh, looking at the condition to, uh, to put data, uh, the, uh, it's not important to know uh, using data to be contacted on, on the right side and on the other side uh, uh, knowing with using is very important, being contacted is very important. Uh, we add now some uh, supplementary variables. Uh, there's, there's a lot to say here, we, I just select some of them and I must say that the results we expected were not the results we, we, we gained. Uh, I, I was expecting to have more information about who are these groups. Are they biologists? Are they environmental scientists? Uh, and um, this cluster analysis didn't get this result. And we, so that's quite so. I mean, that's a negative result, but in a certain sense, uh, says also that uh, there is quite a uniform Uni I, I, we can guess there is a uniform uh, behavior or uh, you cannot uh, um, uh, see what's, what is making the differences. But uh, looking at these other variables uh, uh, who is sharing data uh, and uh, uh, do they have uh, um, archives to develop, you can see that we have four groups. The one we uh, defined as cautious people. Uh, they think uh, uh, validation of research results is very important, but they are afraid of, uh, uh, of uh, sharing data because of misinterpretation, loss of control, and so on. Uh, these are people that do not have uh, databases to share and share only some data uh, to their colleagues or on the website. On the other side, uh, we, have, we have people that think, we uh, call them open access oriented. They think it's not very important. Data are not, do not play a very big role in, uh, in, uh, in science, in the progress of science, but uh, they do not fear to, to, uh, uh, to lose control over the data, but they share data. They share the majority of data, and they have databases, and they use uh, data by others. Um, and on the opposite side, what crosses factor two, uh, what crosses uh, the two line, uh, uh, and this is factor two, we have people who think the role of data is very important, share data, and have database where they can put. And then on the opposite side, yeah. let's say skeptic people that think uh, it's not so important, uh, uh, data, uh, the role of data is not so important. They do not require uh, certain rules uh, to, uh, to, uh, um, to share data. So the cluster analysis that was done on the factorial one uh, shows uh, two main groups, that's uh, about 70% of our sample, uh, that's, uh, we uh, define them aware and cautious, that they are near the, the factorial one, and so they uh, share some data on request, and the other one, we, uh, it's 35, 30%, uh, the majority of data available in the website. So these people are more open access oriented than uh, and uh, uh, or, uh, easier uh, The third group, so what we call the disenchanted, the skeptic ones, uh, if you see uh, they, uh, the position of this group in the table, you can see that uh, it's not so far away from the open access oriented 
And so we cannot exclude that they would share under certain conditions if uh, we take uh, this, uh, if we consider this as a, as a good example. So discussion. Um, I'm, I think there are premises to uh, promote data sharing. And there are good premises because uh, of the response rates we have. I think there is, there is awareness about the importance of data in any case. Um, data are associated with metadata, so we could use them, uh, not with standards, and that's, uh, that's the problem. Sharing attitude increases when uh, there are archives to submit, so uh, this is uh, something that we should take into consideration. Crucial point, formal recognition of data sharing uh, activities, there is no formal recognition. CNR hasn't uh, given any policy about that data sharing and just started two years ago uh, speaking about open access policy. That's, uh, so everything which is done is on voluntary basis. Uh, no technical support and uh, of, of course maintaining control over the data. Uh, last slide maybe we can uh, think about it. These were three answers. Uh, we got in, uh, I got in the, we got in the questionnaire. Every type of data has a history in itself. That's uh, we heard also at the beginning. The collection of experimental data, also monitoring data, presumes original ideas. Uh, people that make monitoring uh, things that are not original sometimes, and they uh, are, um, uh, underline uh, that this is important. It is important to reconstruct genesis of the data as well as the objectives of, of, uh, for which they, they have been collected. But I think what I like most is the last sentence. A, an automatic uh, measurement provides a number, not data. And mm, that's, I think, that uh, has a lot behind that uh, could make us uh, think about it. Thank you.